All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on the captaincy. Um, just tell me, what were your feelings on Saturday night, Connor? How, how do you feel now? Yeah, crazy, um, crazy couple of days. Um, really, I think. Uh, firstly, you know, we were we were, you know, during the game when we saw Al uh, kind of going off, holding his holding his arm and shoulder. Um, you you kind of feared for the worst, but um, you know, unfortunately, that came true. And, and and you know, losing tips as well. I suppose the mood in camp on Saturday evening was a, a bit somber. You know, obviously, lads delighted to get up and running and and get a. You know, for especially the lads for playing for the Lions for the first time, getting a run out and um, and getting a win was was massively positive. But obviously, a little bit of um, you know sadness lingering around the group because of uh, of the two boys. And um, yeah, it was it was a strange atmosphere. And then obviously, Warren um, came up to me before we had our cap ceremony and and, and asked, did I did I want to take over as tour captain? And um, yeah, massive uh, massive honour. Um, answered straight away, yes, it would be brilliant and. I think I've answered quite quickly because, you know, you know the lads, uh, quite a few lads in this group, and the new the new setup of the group is is really strong. We're we're really tight already. <clears throat> um, you know, people are leading as players already themselves. So it's um, you know, hopefully something that we can move into smoothly and and carry on from from where Al left us. No, no, and like I said, I think the the way the squad is set up, um, the way players are so comfortable around each other, and the way players are, you know, we've a great coaching staff, um, you know, that's absolutely sorted. But I think the players are are driving this so well, um, you know what I mean? And and there's players you can lean on. I, I mentioned it already um, in terms of the leadership group. There's there's so many guys with such experience as captains and as leaders, um, you know, whether it be leading by words or actions, um, you know, they're, they're littered across the squad. So in terms of extra pressure, I, I really don't see it as, as that at the moment. You know, there might be a few extra commitments here or there. Um, you know, you'll have to think about things a little bit more and, and be across everything as you, as you would be really. So it's, I've been talking to a few, um, a few people I, I, I quite respect it at home and, and abroad. And, you know, the reason I, Warren, chose me was you know from what he's seen so it's 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 um it's very important i remain myself and i continue to do what i've done um and you know we'll we'll work really well as a leadership group and um yeah it's, it's hugely exciting you know what i mean after a few days of letting it settle and and thinking about it it's um it's a, it's a huge honor you don't have much of a, a back catalogue as a captain um but you've played under some pretty good ones who will you take your inspiration from uh, straight off the top of my head, I suppose Rory Best and, and Paul O'Connell would be two of the, the biggest captains I've played under. My a good friend in my club, P Peter O'Mahony, who has experience in this this area too. So there's there's guys that you know if, if things crop up or you know you're thinking of what to say or, or what not to say, you know it's, it's just guys like that that you can thankfully you can pick up the phone to them and, and run things by them. But saying that. Um, Going back to what what I said, you know, you're 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 chosen because of what you do already, and and I, I don't want to try and become someone different, try and try and force things that that aren't that that aren't that natural to you. So, um, you know, I think that's really important. I focus on that and and hopefully lead by by what I'm doing. Did you have time for any conversation with Alan Wink, and, and did he give you any advice? Briefly, you know, obviously a lot a lot was going on with Al on Saturday evening, but on on Sunday morning I caught up with him for. For a couple of minutes, and it's it's what I what I just said is he said just just be yourself, mate. You've been you've been doing it all along, over the past two tours. Just continue that, um, and you know he he kind of gave me a pat on the shoulder and said he's full faith in me. And uh, again, another guy who said he's at the end of the phone if, if anything crops up. And you know his words are um, are really important to me. He's he's been brilliant for the first two weeks in setting the tone and training. Um, you know, just by his actions and training, you know, he was he was beating everyone to the next drill and, and you know, he was uh, just being himself and, and the way he's led for years and years. So, um, yeah, another guy that, that I can call on, hopefully. And just lastly from me, Connor, you'll be the, the first Lions captain, really, of the modern era not to be backed by an army of, of travelling Lions fans. How challenging is that? Yeah, yeah, it went especially, you know, being selected on tour, you know, there was excitement and then then you thought about, you know, the 
the no fans being allowed and um now that you know there's there's definitely a lot more excitement within my family because of the the captaincy thing too so you know it, it made you think a little bit of, of how cool it would be to have the fans here but um you know there's far more important things going on outside um this tour and I, you you got to respect that and it would be lovely to have them there um i think most of if not all the players are very used to playing without fans uh, and we understand what it is and um it it would be great but it doesn't take away from uh, how special the lions is how much of a challenge it is in in the world champions backyard so there's um there's plenty of uh, cause for motivation for us thanks Colin. Best cheers Yeah, I think that was definitely um, something that happened on Saturday evening. I suppose, you know, the Welsh lads in particular know Al, know Al a, lot, a lot better than us. And, um, you know, it would, ha it would be the same for me if something like that happened. You, you probably want your own space for a while. And, you know, if, if you want to talk, you'll, you'll come over. You know, Al, Al made it, you know, he was really good. Um, you know, he got up and, and presented the lads with their, with their first caps and, you know, put on a really brave face on Saturday evening, which was really admirable given he had just gotten some some pretty bad news. So um, it was a bit of a mix, you know what I mean? You, 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 you can see from his point of view that he might not want to chat too much. Um, no one's trying to make him feel better. It, it, it is what it is. Um, it was a really unfortunate thing that happened. And, um, you know, you, if it was me, you'd deal with it in, in your own head over time. So I think lads were really respectful of him. But, you know, he was around the team room. He was chatting. He was... Um, you know, he was enjoying the, the win and, and people getting off the mark with the Lions. So, um, you know, it was a bit of both. You kind of have to read the situation. How much freedom are you going to get as captain? Because look, obviously there's an awful lot of structures that have been put in place already. Pretty much everything is, is laid down in front of you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, uh, to, to a certain extent. I think, you know, the coaches have given all players, you know, um, the, the space and the... The ability to to speak up and 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 tweak and change things if if we if we see a reason to do that so um you know yeah we definitely have structures and, and systems that are already in place and um we as a playing group have been especially in jersey working really hard on that tweaking areas that you know we might see a little bit of room for improvement or um you know the coaches have been tweaking things that they might have they might have had already set out before before we even got together so it's a it's a live document, really. You know what I mean. Our game plan, so it, it, it is open to to change at times. But you know what we've what we've done in Jersey, um, and you know, in a lot of parts against uh, Japan on the weekend was really really good. So it's it's just about carrying that forward. And you know, I said it at the start, the players are driving this as much as the coaches, which has really put me at ease in terms of of, of my role. Yeah, no, it doesn't mean it for 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 a minute. I think that's completely separate. Um, we've seen it before in Lions tours where um, captains haven't started, and 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 you know you. That's why I feel really strongly that I gotta remain uh, myself and keep doing what I'm doing because that's you know that's the the aim is to to be in contention for the test the test day squad and 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 play in the test matches. That's what makes this whole tour so special. Um, having been on ones before, you know, playing in the test is what it's all about, and that's what everyone's still trying to do um and you know for not, not for a second though, i think that's um that's a given now uh if anything like you said you you, you want to really make sure you're you're on top of your game and, and, you're, and you're playing as as good as you can possibly play as a squad as you were getting on the plane on sunday evening the south african government were announcing a two-week level four lockdown that means no gatherings restaurants and schools closed probably the biggie uh, no alcohol being sold have there been any discussion amongst the players about this? Has anyone said, is it right that we're here? No, there hasn't. Uh, not yet. You know, obviously, we were very aware of what's going on outside um, with the lockdown and, and things like that. But, you know, they're the, the protocols and things that, you know, we're here to, you know, hopefully put a smile on people's faces, you know, here and, and, and back at home. Um, you know, even since we've been here, you know, stopping... The bus of traffic lights you know we've people beeping at us waving at us smiling at us so i think there's there's a good um 
buzz around us being here. You know, we're obviously very aware of the situation outside the hotel. Um, you know, we literally go from the hotel to the training ground. We we're very much um, restricted in our movements as well. So um, no, not at the moment. You know, it's it's again like to get, it's a it's a live document. You know, it, things can change so quickly. But you know, we're here and um, very lucky to be able to do what we're doing and, and very focused on you know putting on a, a show for people to to get behind and and, and support us. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Yeah, um, we're here to play them in a three three test series. So yeah, there'll be there'll be big interest in that. Um, yeah, there's a feeling since we since we landed here in South Africa that um, you know it's 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 time for kind of the serious stuff. So yeah, it'll it'll all kick off now, and um, I'm sure if it, if it's on in the team room, um, there won't be many players not not watching it there. Thank you, Connor. Cheers. Well, a big part of your job, I guess, is to keep your squad. Um, motivated. How difficult is that under the circumstances with so much going on off the field? Um, I don't think it, I don't think it is. I think you know you, you talk about the COVID stuff and and the restrictions and not being able to move around as much, but um, and and no fans and I, I I really don't think it takes away from the opportunity we have as a playing group. You know, the a test series against South Africa. Um, you know we're very lucky to be able to do this given given what's going on outside outside um our environment and no uh, at the moment um you know the 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 read on the, the the mood in camp is is a really positive one you know what i mean we're 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 training really hard we're we're really motivated people you know there's an excitement about the weekend you know there's a, an excitement about landing into south africa and, and getting up and running here um getting off on a positive note so no motivation wise like I said again at the start, there's so many experienced players here. Um, you know, I know how special this is, and are very, very aware of of the the opportunity that we have. So, uh, in terms of motivation, no, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Edge, edge to training now, Connor. Uh, Robin Rising, you work closely alongside the forwards with their sessions. Is there, uh, yeah, an edge looking ahead now that you have arrived in South Africa? Yeah, the yeah, there is definitely. I think, you know, Jersey for the two weeks or, or or ten days that we were there, you know, we were we were figuring things out. There was you know getting getting the game plan nailed down, learning the calls, all of that kind of carry on. And now that that's pretty much embedded in us, I think the, you know, again the seriousness of of why we're here is going to take over. And and you know there will be an edge to training. There'll be, you know, the battle for 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 match day squ places and and match day squads is is really up and running. Um. Yeah, there's there's going to be an edge. You can see it already in people's body language. You know, just the way people are even, you know, preparing in the gym before we go out into the pitch. People are are taking it really, really seriously. You know, they're in their own zone. Um, you know, and and then once we get on that pitch, it's uh, it's you know, no one no one holds back, and that's that's what that's what you'd like to see, and and it's it's certainly there. Yeah, big vote of confidence for yourself to be named captain. What's the competition like with the other nines, Gareth and Ali? Yeah, uh, a big time. Yeah, it's been it's been brilliant so far. Um, you know, I've I've played against Ali a good few times, and 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 I know Gar from the the last tour. He he came out. Um, you know, and there's there's a huge respect there between the three of us. I think um, it, we've been really open with each other in terms of calls. You know, maybe calls we use with our our clubs and our countries, kind of being open enough to to share them. I think that's really important. Um, you know, and staying behind, doing a, doing a few extras with each other. I think we're we're all you know going into to play in the in the big games, but uh, you know we're all uh, we're all trying to make each other better and, and and push each other along. And I think that's going to be good for the squad. And yeah, you can see that in in the other groups, you know, the out halves or the centers. Everyone's kind of bought into this, and everyone understands that we need to help each other as much as we can. We don't want to be holding things back that, that might help the, the squad moving forward. So um no it's been it's been great so far. Um I'm sure once you know once we get closer to the big big games, you know, it'll uh, it'll heat up, but that's that's what you want. You you definitely want that. You don't wanna um have it, you know, too laid back around each other. You know, we're we're all here trying to trying to trying to get a jersey. Thanks, Connor. Hello, it's Mike from Cochrane here. Uh, congratulations on the captaincy. Um, Cheers Mike. I asked you just about um, you know, 
Jesus said, if the captain is to lead by example, now given the fact that the last number of captains have been forward, how does the scrum half lead by example on the pitch, given that you're not going to be hitting rocks or running around the pitch? I hit the odd rock. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, I think it's it's by example, I suppose. You know what I mean? I, I, being being a scrum half, like uh, we said a minute ago, you know, having been around the forwards in their unit sessions, you know, you do tend to spend a lot of time with them. Um, so you do spend an even amount of time with with backs and forwards. So um, yeah, I think nothing changes for me. Again, just remain the same. Keep keep trying to lead by example about what you do on the pitch, and and you know, you pick and choose your. Your times to speak, and you know when you do speak, you, you make sure you've thought about it, and, and the message is really clear. So, um, yeah, I, I think if you over overthink it, uh, it'll, it'll start to bother you a lot. I think you know the reason why I was selected, uh, why, why Warren asked me is, is because of what he's seen out of me in the past, and you know I'd like to think I, I lead by example um, first and foremost, and, and that that can't change. You know, if anything, that kind of puts a bit more pressure on you to to play well and, and be across your detail. Um, you know, if people are coming to you. You know, wondering about the game plan or whatever, just to be really, really sharp on those things that things that you would be anyway. But um, you know, obviously, make doubly sure that you are now. And does your your talking have to change given the fact that you're not just a player now, you're a captain? Um, maybe as a player, you might have considered it more as a captain. Do you have to kind of speak less if you understand to make sure that when you get the message across, it's a it's a it's a pointed message? Um. I haven't overly thought about it because I'd like to think when 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 I do speak it it is it is taught it is taught true and it's it's a serious point. Um, yeah, I suppose you, nothing nothing too drastic has to change. I think you you try your best to to remain yourself and you know you've probably seen it before where you know captains probably feel under pressure to say things and you know it probably gets diluted because they're they're talking quite a lot so um yeah it just if you're like like when i'm a player i think you 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 really think about what you're going to say if, if you have a point you make sure you you have a reason for talking and, it, and it's it's clear and and precise because you know people are going to be listening to you um so yeah i don't think i don't think much has to change you just got to make sure you've thought out what you're what you're going to say Yeah, um, work with work with work with them all. I think you know they're they're, they're a formidable coaching side. Um, you know uh, um, what they've done o over the over the past couple of years with South Africa. Obviously, winning the World Cup has been really impressive. I think from watching them in the World Cup and having played with Munster under them, you know there there, there are similarities in in what they what they were doing, what they were showing. So. Yeah, there'll be there'll be areas like that that you know you have a little insight into, but you know we've everyone's doing analysis on each other. You know everyone knows each other as well as as well as they can. But if there's if there's something that you know pops into my head that I remember about a certain way, you know Jacques or Razi was wanting us to play with Munster, and we, and we see it in the South African side, then that might be a little insight. But at the same time, you know with Felix there, he's he's a guy who's always thinking about different things, and you know you, you got to be prepared for surprises, and you know you. You know, you can't. You don't always get what you expect when when you run out into the pitch from from the opposition. You know, you have to be quite adaptable. So, um, yeah, it, it's um, it's a bit a bit of an insight, I suppose, having having worked under them. But at the same time, it could be completely different. Thanks. Enjoy the experience. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers. Thanks. Um, I haven't I haven't had a, had a phone call with, with with any of those lads yet. I just just a text to say congrats and um, that they'd be at the end of the phone if, if ever I needed anything. But it was more it was more of an encouragement, I suppose. You know, just most of them said just just keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't overthink it and um, you know lead by example. You know you know that would be the worst thing that could happen is to start overthinking this and, and trying to change change as a person and a player. Um, would would be probably dangerous to to yourself. So um, no, it, they were just really encouraging words, um, and obviously said, you know, if if there's anything that crops up that you want to run by them, um, they're at the end of the phone. And I think you probably will be speaking to them over the over the next few weeks, just if um, you know, if some if something comes into your head, just to to run it by someone with that with that experience and get a get a sound word of advice. Thanks, enjoy the 
you mentioned it there, is the trick now in this new role to not allow it to overwhelm you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's definitely taken a few days to kind of process it and let it sink in. And now that it's it's pretty much sunk in, it's um, I'm really excited by it because you know you've been around the lads now over over two weeks, and, and there's a really good vibe in camp. You feel comfortable with the boys around you. Um, there's great leaders already in the squad. Uh, so you know, if, if if it was different, if they're you know, if, if it was a quiet group or whatever, you, you'd feel a little bit more pressure, but I really don't. I'm really excited by this challenge. I think it's, a, again, a, a massive honour um, to, to be able to do this, um, and I, and I want to make the most of it. You know, you've got to be you got to be excited by these things, and, and I certainly am. And just finally, have, the, have the, your teammates treated you any differently since you got the news? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, just they don't call me by my name anymore. It skips for the moment, so I'm trying to get that, get rid of that one. Um, but no, they've been brilliant. Um, that's another thing that put me at ease. Uh, obviously, on Saturday night with with Al uh, and and uh, Tips losing out through injury. Um, you know, once Warren said that I, that I'd be taking over as captain, everyone came up and, and said congrats. And you know, you could feel that they meant it. Um, so it's great to have that kind of support of your your fellow players, I think that's probably the most important thing is, you know, they're supporting you and, and you know, everyone is is digging in now. It's getting serious. So everyone's working really hard. And, um, you know, again, I go back to saying it's there's a really good vibe in camp. Kind of a follow on, hi, Connor. Um, How are you? Oh, man, even from the Irish captains with Brian, Paul, Peter recently, that, you know, you could get overwhelmed by history and looking back at what they did and ringing them and texting them. But this is about your history now. This is, this is like a, new, a blank page. And it's important to do that for you. Yeah, I've thought about that. Yeah, it really, it really is. I think, you know, those boys are there and, and they have their, their style and, and I'm, I have utmost respect for all of them. But, you know, it goes back to not, not changing what you do or who you are. I think that's really important. You remain true to yourself. And um, I, I sound like a, a broken record, but Warren chose me because of what he's seen out of me in, in the last two tours and obviously how, how I play the game. Um, so that's got to be, you know, top of my list is that I, I don't try and change. You know what I mean? That That's when it gets dangerous and that's where you probably start to get a, a little bit distracted if you do try and change. So, yeah, it's um, again, like you said, it's a clean, a clean sheet and it's, it's the way I do it now. But again, those lads are there at the end of the phone, if, if anything crops up or, or I'm, I'm uh, thinking about something. Um, but no, like you said, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's a clean sheet for me. Just apologies for being green changes, but the last few Irish captains didn't have the ultimate success. It's been a while since there has been one. <laughs> so you'll be fine by the result of this series. Um, so talk about that just in terms of, of being maintaining the process, mm. try not to wait, kind of hoping that you will be a victorious captain. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Not trying to be distracted by that. Um, you know, I'm thinking about training in this afternoon um, and, and what we got to get right for the weekend. I'm really not thinking about, you know, yeah, I suppose when you're you're back in your room and you have a quiet moment, you might you might drift off and, and think of what it would be like to to win a series. And, and, and that's the that's the goal. That's the squad goal. Players are are. are are preparing, um, you know, to go to, to battle and, and, and try and do that. But, you know, we're all experienced enough and professional enough to know, you know, it's about the next step and the next day and the next session and, and who you're trying to play at the weekend and, and what you're trying to achieve. You know, we're trying to get better. You know, we, sh we showed some really good things against Japan and, you know, we showed some things of a side that are, are quite new together. So there's there's plenty to work on for us this week and, and, and that's what it's going to be like leading up uh, to the test game. So, um yeah, you can you can dream about the end result, but um, you know it's definitely day by day. Hey, hey, Connor, uh, Nick Sun here from the Mail. Did, did did you stand up in front of the squad on the on the plane or at the airport or anything like that and, and deliver a kind of start of tour speech, rallying cry kind of thing? And, and what messages <laughs> would you be giving to the squad as an overarching message to Robin McBride before we're speaking about a siege mentality based on the sacrifice everyone's made to come into a kind of down South Africa. Yeah, um, no, not yet. No, I, I think, you know, that's probably been said already by Al at the start of our camp. And I think, you know, the, the mission plan has been has been clearly um, identified. And I think everyone has a really good understanding of, of what we're trying to do. Um, yeah, I agree with Robin in terms of the, you know, the sacrifices that we've all made to get here. Um, 
and you know leaving loved ones at home again very lucky to be able to do this still you know it's 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 a it's a strange one to describe but um no i think the the mission is really really clear in, in players heads and i think you know when you when you pick your times to to speak you know again going back to what i said you, you you've you've thought about it and you make sure that it's a, a point you really want to get across um but again loads of experience in the squad i think all the players know what we're trying to do here, how we're trying to play. You know, people are really busy working in their mini groups. Um, there's an awful lot going on. So you, you got to just be really um, careful about when you pick pick your times to to speak or deliver a, a message like that. But um, like I said, a lot of that has been said at the start. You know, when we met up in the the Lensbury Hotel um, in London a, a good few weeks back, you know, we, we spoke about it there and, and, and we spoke about it in Jersey. And um, now it's it's kind of about it's kind of about getting down to work and, and, and working really hard with each other and, and for each other. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.